This isn't a typical video of ours, but unfortunately during a recent canoe camping trip, our canoe fell off the top of the car, hit the gravel ground, and it damaged uh, the keel of the canoe. Our canoe is Roilex, it's made out of ABS plastic and vinyl on the outside, so I had to find a product to repair it. I went to JB Weld, because they're known in the industry to be a very strong repair. This particular product bonds to plastic, ABS, you can see all the listed materials, and it has a strength of 3900 PSI. It's in a very strong repair. So we're going to get right into the repair. You can see the damage on the canoe. It's, it's an old canoe, so this is just old canoe, but it's, it started to chip off when we dropped it, so I want to get this repaired. First thing we're going to do is sand this down. I'm using a really rough grit. This is like 60 grit sandpaper. But we got to get down to fresh plastic to make a strong bond. Biggest part of repairing, repairing any kind of repairs like this, and I always say 99% prep, 1% repair. Because if you don't have a proper prep job, all your work for making the glue and the, the epoxy will just not, not just fall apart. It won't, it won't bond properly. So the main thing when you're doing this kind of stuff is you want to see the feather feathering. So you can see how it's feathering. That's how you know you're getting a you're getting all the bad spots away. You don't want to see this chipping right here. I'll do the best I can to clean that out. You see how it kind of smooths out right there. Now we're gonna wipe down with some alcohol. Yep. Clean it up nice. Make sure the bonding surface has no oils on it. See, we're all the way down to the foam core. It's really needed this repair. So I'm gonna make some of this epoxy up. So when you're mixing the epoxy, make sure you mix it very well, because if you don't mix it very well, it's not gonna dry. It's the most important thing is if you do all this work, you wanna make sure the epoxy dries and cures. I should say cures, it doesn't dry, it cures. Over mix it, make sure it's very, very mixed. And you want to do it on a, on a not cardboard, something with like plastic co coating on the outside. Because the, you don't want any of the chemicals to get absorbed into the cardboard. Now this does dry to a, a, a clear yellow. And you got to work fast so it cures and or hardens in five minutes. So it should be well mixed. There you go. Nice and set. So I just wanted to say after all that repair, I still have enough to do a light sanding and a second coat. I only used a little bit. So this stuff goes a long way. And like I said, it's super powerful, strong stuff. The bond's amazingly strong. The only negative side is it's clear, but you can get a spray paint. When it, a canoe is this old, you can get a spray paint that matches in the canoe, lightly sand it and paint over it, you'll never see it. Or you can get, uh, get um, a keel guard, which is I'm probably gonna get a Kevlar keel guard and put it right over the top of the, the edge of the canoe. So it's been about three hours, three and a half hours. And it's turned, the job turned to be real nice. It's nice and hard, very solid bond. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I think I'm gonna lightly sand it and do one more coat on it so it's got a nice thick coat over that repair. So when we're sanding it, once again, we're trying to feather the, so you don't wanna see any of this. I want to feather it out so it's nice and blended in. And we'll do one more coat on this and it should be good. This is all the, the area wasn't perfectly bonded onto the clear plastic. I didn't sand it out far enough. So you can see we've got this all sanded down. So it's all well bonded, all the well bonded spots. And we're gonna clean it off and give it one more coat. Clean it once more. We're gonna take more of this epoxy. This is the final product, nice and shiny clean. It's got a, a nice thick like quarter inch layer right there in that crack and it's super hard. Very strong bond. What I'm gonna do is scuff it up again and lightly spray it with some spray paint. So I got the canoe outside and we're just gonna finish this thing up. This is what she looks like outside in the sun. Use some sandpaper here. Yeah, that's much better. Just lightly sand it in this. I got this pretty well sanded down. 
Get everything pretty well white, good enough to stick for the paint to stick. And this is the paint I chose. It was the closest I could find to uh, match the canoe. It's pretty close. Now we're gonna hit this with some spray paint now. Watch out, it's gonna be spray paint. So I'm not looking for perfection because it's just a canoe. It's gonna get scratched, beat up, and hit banged against rocks. But I think before the bad patch and hole, it looks so pretty good. It's got a brand new paint. The epoxy bond is extremely strong and extremely durable. And uh, those, all that's left is to put some kind of guards on it. I'd say finished product, it looks, looks pretty good. It was like there was no gouge. So we just got back from a seven and a half mile canoe trip. And I got to test out the repair and uh, it looks like it's pretty durable. You can see the repair held out great. Got some scratches right there. We have plenty of rocks and scuffs in the river. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps out some other canoers with, with the repairs on Royal X.